ladies and gentlemen, you know, this is just the media trying to rub it in to the faces of Black people every time they bring up Betty Shelby. You know, they know how we feel about Betty Shelby. This is a deliberate act from the mainstream media when they do this. Now, you know, they had Betty Shelby, you know, the second she beat her case and killing Terrence Crusher, she was deputized and back to work. Now she has a new job, ladies and gentlemen, Oklahoma cop who was acquitted in shooting death of unarmed black man is now an NRA gun instructor. So this came out on NBC News. Betty Shelby, ex-Tulsa cop who fatally shot Terrence Crutcher in 2016, will soon teach an NRA course. Crutcher's family calls it a slap in the face exactly. They're going to keep periodically bringing this ugly pie face woman out to the forefront for us to see. Okay. A white Oklahoma police officer acquitted in the shooting death of an unarmed black man is now teaching pistol lessons through the NRA. And the NRA is going down, by the way, y'all. You know, they are barely hanging on. There are states that want the NRA gone and they are working against them. And I know New York is one of those places. Betty Shelby, the former Tulsa police officer who fatally shot Terrence Crutcher in September, 2016, said she shot him in self-defense. Now remember, she said he was reaching in the car and the damn windows were up. <laughs> it just go to show you, they let these cops get away with anything. You know, and unfortunately, they try to glorify these cops to us. And, you know, that's why I will always reject that big time. Video of shooting showed Crutcher holding his hands up above his head prior to the shooting. Crutcher then appears to be reaching into his vehicle which is when Shelby opened fire. I don't know what was he reaching for with all the windows up, Betty Shelby. And you know how they are. What you see on the video is not what happened. Uh, Jason Van Dyke tried to pull that stunt too at his trial. What you saw on the video, that, that ain't what really happened. It, it's different from what you saw. on. <laughs> don't believe your eyes. Believe my lying mouth. I'm telling you what happened. Yeah, whatever. She was charged with manslaughter of an unarmed father in 2016, but acquitted by a all-white jury in 2017. Shelby was placed on desk duty after the shooting, a position she resigned from two months, uh, two months after her acquittal. Sitting behind a desk is just not for me, Shelby said in a statement released by her union at the time. The Fraternal Order of Police, which is America's biggest gang, Lodge 93. Now Shelby has a new job teaching shooting courses for the NRA. According to the NRA's website and a Facebook event, for the course, Shelby will teach the day-long NRA basic pistol shooting course on May 11th. And again, this should show you the NRA has never been with the Black community. Okay? And neither has Facebook for that matter. I, I for the life of me, don't understand why many of you are out on Facebook, but Hey, you can have at it. I left them well over a year ago now, and I don't miss Facebook. I can honestly tell you I do not miss Facebook at all. The course costs $85 to attend and take place 
at the U.S. Shooting Academy in Tulsa. The Facebook event says attendees will need a minimum of 100 rounds of ammo to participate. Facebook and the NRA, y'all. Teaming up to support Betty Shelby in her new job. The Facebook event page was posted by Shelby's company, ISWB LLC, which says on its Facebook profile that it's dedicated to providing real life training to law enforcement and civilians. Now, it's amazing. This woman is a murderer, but Facebook is perfectly fine having her out there and promoting a course that she's going to teach for the NRA, but Louis Farrakhan, who killed no one, he must go. <laughs> wow. ISWB stands for I Stand With Betty, a slogan adopted by Tulsa police offices after Shelby was charged with the death of Crutcher. Shelby's attorney, Scott Wood, told NBC News he believes his client is teaching the course because it allows her to do something related to her former law enforcement career. <laughs> it's the most basic class you can take on any type of firearms. It's just really for people who have never been around a firearm or even shot a gun before, said Wood. Wood said Shelby teaches other classes like tactical medicine and first aid in the field, she says, was certified by the NRA to be a licensed instructor. She has passion for teaching and training. <laughs> She has passion for killing, too. Demario Solomon Simmons, the Crutcher family's attorney, says his clients were horrified to learn that Shelby is teaching the pistol course. For her to be teaching gun safety and gun classes is the ultimate slap in the face, Solomon Simmons said adding that the class being taught a day before Mother's Day was particularly difficult for Crutcher's mother. Vincent Sutherland, director of the Center on Race and Equality and the Law at NYU Law, agrees Betty Shelby is the last person in the world who should be involved with training people on how and when to shoot a gun. Sutherland told NBC News when she encountered Mr. Crutcher, she didn't see a helpless motorist or a person in distress. She saw a threat with absolutely no objective reason for seeing him that way. Yeah, that's very true. That very well said. Yeah, I mean, he was no threat at all. He had his hands up, was following him moving and following the commandments that they were saying, right? They kept throwing commands out. He kept doing it. They kept throwing commands out. He kept doing it. And she shot him anyway. So it's laughable when you come to us and say, if you don't resist and do what the cops say, you know, if you don't resist and do what the cops say, you will still end up dead. That's the correct way of saying it. That's not someone who should be anywhere near a gun, regardless of her acquittal. Solomon Simmons said he and the Crutcher family are particularly disturbed to see Shelby use her celebrity for profit when the only reason people know who Betty Shelby is comes from the fact that she was caught on video killing an unarmed, nonviolent individual. Exactly. He was no threat to her whatsoever. She made him a threat. 
Wood acknowledged the controversy around his client teaching the course. Anything she has tried to do, there's always been whiplash and there always should be protest against what Be uh, Betty Shelby is doing. And I agree, she shouldn't be near any firearm. There is just a certain group of people that aren't going to be happy no matter what she does. He's talking about black people, y'all. The NRA does not respond, um, did not respond to NBC's request for comment. No, th they're talking about black people. That's what he means by a certain group of people. But no, I don't agree with this, but <clears throat> they're going to do what they want. And Betty Shelby is being paraded in our face for a reason. And that reason is to let you know that cops in this country, especially the ones like Betty Shelby, are untouchable. These folks are like Teflon John up in here because your judges and your prosecutors and your juries are not going to allow them to fall. So here you go again with Betty Shelby paraded once again up in our faces. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.